Hey, so here we are going to learn how to draw a perpendicular bisector for a given line segment. So let this be a line segment AB. Now we'll take a compass and from point A we will draw a circle whose radius is more than half of distance AB. So from A if I draw a circle it will be something like this and from B if I draw the circle it will be something like this. Then you can see that these two circles actually intersect each other at this point and this point. So if I draw a line joining these two intersections of these two circles, this line will be the perpendicular bisector of line AB. Let me call these points C and D. And why is it so? Because each point on the circle is equidistant from its center. That means AC is equal to AD and CB is equal to DB. And since both these circles with center A and B are of the same radius, that means AC is equal to CB is equal to BD is equal to AD. That means the quadrilateral ACBD is a rhombus where AB and CD are the diagonals of the rhombus. And we know the diagonals of the rhombus intersect each other at 90 degrees. If I call this intersection point O, then angle COB will be equal to angle BOD will be equal to angle DOA and this will be equal to angle AOC and this will be equal to 90 degrees. And then there is one more property of this perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means it divides line AB into two equal parts and at the same time it is perpendicular to the line AB. And if I extend this perpendicular bisector to either sides, each point on this perpendicular bisector is actually equidistant from both the ends A and B because triangle PAO will be congruent to triangle POB. Why? Because angle POB is equal to angle POA which is 90 degrees. OP is equal to OP, the common line and AO is equal to OP because this line OP is a perpendicular bisector. That means AO is equal to OB. So from side angle side congruency these two triangles triangle PAO and POB are congruent that means side PA will always be equal to side PB or you can say the triangle PAB will always be an isosceles triangle and for any isosceles triangle the median is also the perpendicular bisector right so that's all for this video and in next video we will learn how to draw a perpendicular from any given point to any given line.